David and David here. Let's talk about iPhone back tap. This is an accessibility feature that lets you complete a quick action on your iPhone by tapping it on the back two or three times. So if I want to open the app switcher on my phone, for instance, I can just go tap tap. And there it is. Nice. Yep. So let's go dive into the settings app and we'll show you what this looks like. Open settings, scroll down and tap accessibility, tap touch, and then scroll all the way down here to back tap. Here you'll see double tap or triple tap. Let's start with double tap. And here's a list of everything that you can do with back tap. So open the app switchers you just did, take a screenshot, reachability, mute your phone, lock the screen. Down here, some accessibility settings, you know, turn on magnifier, turn on the assistive touch button and scroll gestures, scroll down or scroll up on an article. Right, so scroll down, scroll up. Let's set it up right now for two taps to scroll down, three taps to scroll up. Why would you wanna do this? Because if you're outside in the winter, you might have gloves on and you can't touch your phone, but you wanna scroll anyway. Sounds totally plausible to me. Yes, well. It's a good feature. So double tap, I'll set to scroll up. I'll tap back tap, upper left hand corner of the screen, tap triple tap, and then we'll make triple tap scroll down. That was the opposite of what I said, but I like you. My way's better. Yeah, his way's better. So now I'm gonna open Safari. I've already got an article loaded. And let's test it out. Triple tap, scroll down. Look at that. How about that? Triple tap. Scroll down again. Sometimes when we make videos, it feels like the features don't work perfectly only when we're making the videos. <laughs> It does it despite us. It is a little bit finicky, and especially if you have a thick iPhone case, that might actually interrupt your iPhone's ability to register the double tap. So just keep that in mind when you're using this feature. It's not gonna work flawlessly. Right. You may have to double tap and then double tap again, like I did in the beginning of this video. Yeah. Another awesome use for back tap is that you can open Spotlight from any app that you're in, not just from the home screen. So what is Spotlight, David? Let's show them. So go back to the home screen and just swipe down from the center of the screen. There you go, that's yep, spotlight. Siri, exactly, serious suggestions. You can search for mail, you can open your apps this way. I use it a lot, David doesn't use it a lot, but I use it a lot. So, how do you open this from within an app? You can't normally, but let's set it up with Backtap. Yes, yeah, so I'll go back to the settings app. We've got settings right here in Spotlight, so let's tap on it right there. It takes me right back to where I was, how about, how about that? that? And then I'll set it up for triple tap to do Spotlight. Scroll up here, tap on Spotlight. Now if I pick up my phone, triple tap, how about that? How about that? You can do it from any any app that you're in. So you're in Twitter, you want to open a different app, you don't have to go all the way back to the home screen. This could save you literally swipes of your time. Seconds. Seconds, seconds of your time. Of time. Those seconds add up to minutes, and those minutes add up to almost Two an hour. years. Another great use for double tap or triple tap is if your side button or power button is broken, you can lock the screen. I used to have an iPhone 4 and the power button on the top got jammed and I just couldn't. Like every iPhone 4. Yeah, I just, yeah. I couldn't lock my screen, so I just had to wait for, you know, the two minutes to kick in and the screen to lock itself. And you didn't know about assistive touch at the time, apparently. Yeah, well, the assistive yeah. touch, I don't like the assistive touch button because it takes up a lot of screen real estate. Yeah, a lot. So, lock screen. Let's go back to the settings app one more time. And here we are going to tap on lock screen. If I Now if I triple tap my phone, the screen recording is going to end. Right. It's gonna end, but also if you triple tap your phone and the power button's off, how the heck are you gonna turn it back on again, David? Well, it doesn't turn it on, you just unlock it. The fail, you would have an iPhone 4, you would just hit the, the home button. To right? unlock it. To unlock it. I am pretty smart, yay. Any Apple tech will tell you that ringer switches, the silent switch, breaks all the time. Mm -hmm. So, if you double tap the back of your iPhone and it's set to mute, for instance, silent mode turns on. Pretty cool. Pretty nice, yeah. Yep, there's a lot you can do with back tap. Yeah, mess around with it, go in the settings, mess around, find out what works for you. Right. And we actually have one more thing we want to show you that you can do with back tap, well, especially yeah. if you have the right Siri shortcut set up. Right, I set up a Siri shortcut for a dance party on double tap. I like to call this uh, pretty cool. seizure, the seizure shortcut. <laughs> seizure because the flashing lights all over yeah, the place. There's lots of lots of loud music. It's just but it's too a much. dance party, so there you go. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Only 4% of our viewers are subscribed. It would mean a lot and really help us grow. Yeah, especially if you've watched this long. Please subscribe.